No, I smiled. And as soon as I smiled, he smiled back. I think that was the one, uh, the pinnacle of the moment where we decided that we were going to have fun in there. And we were just going to let it all go. He had no answers for my inside leg kicks. Uh, he was blocking a lot of my punches and he was bunched up. Um, this camp, we utilized baseball. Baseball was one of the things in my, my camp that I had was the sand lot. So we were throwing fast pitches at him and he was blocking. So I had to throw a couple change ups and it, I was missing a little bit. So I had to throw some curveballs at him. I had to get him to start swinging a little bit to open himself up. And once I did, his conditioning was checked. I made him quit. Check this out, I don't spar. I haven't sparred in probably about four or five years. Yeah, check that out, okay? I have a good group of people that I rely on that we really do co that coach me and they drill me. And I have to rely on my, my own methodology of just my training from previous sports. When I do that, you don't wanna to take too many hits to the head or to the body anymore in sparring. You don't need to do that, especially at this high level where I'm at. I'm the champ. You guys realize that, right? I've been the champ, I am the champ. You have these two knuckleheads over there making this sport look bad. So when I had that media scrum over there and I yelled at all you guys, don't be feeding that b straight up. I am the champ. I don't have a belt up here. I don't need to have a belt up here to be the champ. So if you guys wanna feed that, go ahead, put that in your pocket and take it with you. But what I'm doing here is cleaning up the sport. This is an Olympic level type of sport and it needs to be cleaned up. I've been training like an Olympian. I've duck, took so many different things out of my life that I didn't need anymore and I just felt lifted. So awesome, such a great feeling.